everyone so the main point of this video is I want to show you how to apply full nail tips with poly gel and as you just saw I'm just getting my sizing on my nails it has to fit sidewall to sidewall but not over because then you're gonna have issues with it coming up or lifting and so I'm just sizing all of the nails until I have the perfect size now I chose to share this video with you because honestly when I do full nail tips on my nail, this is my favorite way of doing it. I find the poly gel. I'll explain as I go why I prefer this over just putting like base gels or a base and builder below the full tips. So like I said, as I go, I'll explain why this way I feel works better. So now that I have all the nails sized, step two would be removing the cuticle off the nail and pushing those cuticles back because like any process, if you don't prep the nails properly, it won't last as long. So very important to remove that cuticle so we don't get any lifting with the poly gel that'll be applied and the base coat, of course. So as you see, I used a pointier cuticle bit. It's helping lift up those cuticles because I do have a few that like to be on my nails. So once I was done with the cuticles, of course, I'm taking the cuticle nipper and removing anything that I pushed up that I don't want left just to neaten up my cuticles a little bit more. So of course in the prep of the nails, a very important step, you have to remove the shine off the nails because if you don't, the products won't adhere properly to the natural nail. So step four would be spraying with nail prep because you want to remove the oils and dust off the nail before applying product. But before you apply product, you want to etch the inside of the tips. You want to do this first before you apply product on the nail because of course there's going to be some dust and it would be pointless putting on product and then having dust all over it. So etch each nail tip, the full nail tip, I would do half of it just where it's going to be applied on the nail because of course this is going to allow it to adhere properly to the products and stay on really well. So I'm just taking that cuticle bit I used. I just like using a smaller bit. You can almost use anything you want. You just want to remove that shine inside the nail tip. So step six would be applying Young Nails Protein Bond or whatever primer you have to the natural nail and letting it dry. For this set of nails, I'm using Madame Glam Soak Off Base Gel and you're going to apply a thin layer to all of the nails and do not get it on the cuticles of course because that can cause lifting and once I have it on all of the nails, I am going to cure it for 60 seconds and the products that I'm using today are all Madame Glam products. You'll see that when I bring up the other products that I'll be using but yeah, just apply a thin layer to all of the nails. And I do have a 30% off code. You just saw that up on the screen. Use the link down in the description with the code to use that 30% off.
Once the base coat cures, I'm going to be using Madden Glam's Rose Pink Poly Gel, and they have other poly gels as well if you want to check those out. And their Madden Glam Poly Gel brush. And I need some isopropyl alcohol to move the poly gel around once I'm applying it. So I'm just going to pour some of this in a little dish. So step eight will be applying the poly gel to the full nail tip and you don't want too much. You can see how much I squeeze out. That's probably the perfect amount. If you apply too much, it's just going to come out of the side walls once applied to the nail. So this is probably, like I said, the perfect amount. Now I'm just going to grab my brush. I'm just getting it ready and I'm going to apply the isopropyl alcohol. Now you don't need a whole bunch on your brush of isopropyl alcohol. Just a little bit just to move the poly gel around. And one important step when you're applying this and pushing it down, make sure it's really thin where it's going to be applied to the cuticle and just keep pushing it up till it's about halfway. And like I said, it needs to be pretty thin. You don't want too much on there. And then I'm going to place it on the nail. And this is the thing that I love the most about the poly gel versus using a base and say a builder or a base and a base. It stays in place once you push it down and it makes it so much easier when you're doing your own nails. So that is why I prefer poly gel over the other method. Now that I have it in place, I'm going to take my clip. This is a good thing to purchase. I'll put the link down where you can get these clips from, but it's really going to help hold it where you need it to um, obviously stay. So now I'm going to clean off the excess um, poly gel underneath, and that was step nine. So you just want to take some isopropyl alcohol and thin it out because you're not wanting that bulky ridge underneath of, with the poly gel once it's cured. So now that it's ready to be cured, it's going to cure for 60 seconds and I just turned it around just to make sure there was no poly gel coming out the side walls of the tip. So now I'm going to repeat the process and sometimes things go a little different for each one so I'll explain what I had to do with the next one that was different from the first one. But to start with, same process, like I'm just thinning it down and making sure it's thin by the cuticle where it's going to be placed. and yeah, and then I'm going to be applying it to the nail. So this one, this is what I wanted to show. Now, when I pushed it down, I had probably more poly gel on this tip than the pinky. And as you can see, I have to clean off the excess that has come out of the sidewalls. Always double check to make sure that you've removed any of that poly gel because you're going to have a mess and you're going to have lifting if it's on the cuticles. So once I'm happy with the removal of it, you're just taking isopropyl alcohol to remove it. Then I will put on the clip and then I will do the underneath side and thin out that poly gel so I don't have that big ridge underneath once it's cured. And I will put the links to the tips that I'm using and the clips as well that I've used down in the description of this video for you guys.
So I feel I've explained everything that can go wrong and what you need to do. So now I'm just going to let you watch me apply it to the next few nails so that you can just see exactly what I have to do on each one and the difference between one versus another depending on how much poly gel I'm applying. So again, like I'll just let you watch me do that. So this is the last nail that I'll be showing you and then it's going to cure and step 10 is taking a hand file and doing the edges of the tip. Now you want to do this because there could be a slight bit of poly gel that you need to remove and if you want to do any shaping which usually a full nail tip you don't have to or even if you want to remove a slight bit of length this is when you can do that. Once I'm done with the hand file, I want to do the cuticle. So I'm taking a fine safety bit and a ceramic bit, and you just want to go along the cuticle to make sure it's nice and flush to the cuticle and make sure that you have not left any slight poly gel there. So this is a really nice way of smoothing it down, but make sure you use a safety bit when you're this close to the cuticle, of course.
So step 12 will be buffing the tips. Now you want to remove the shine off the tips because if you don't, the gel polishes that you'll be using will chip off or not adhere correctly. So make sure that all of the shine is off of them. And the last step in this process, step 13, is wiping them with some isopropyl alcohol to remove the dust off them. And if you want to see what I did on these nails, you can check out the card in the top right hand corner of the design and the colors I use for these nails. And yeah, now you're ready for a color. Mm -hmm. 